them up in the commentary box is Richie Bell. Thanks, Mark. Welcome back to the cricket ground for this next session of play. Side for any bowler. The ball is just sailing over the fence. He has smashed that a long, long way. That is great to watch for the neutral, not so good for the bowler. for a shot like that. Brilliant! No, nope, the bowler won't be happy about that. Well, the bowler can't really complain about that. It's a poor line and being suitably punished. Four wides to England. Well, the poor wicketkeeper had no chance with that. That was really wide. That was six all the way. Great strike. Great strike. Six from the moment he hit it. Exciting. Exciting player. There's risk in that stroke, but it is maximum. Four buys to be added to the total. Oh. The poor wicket keeping, we have to say that. Four buys is such a gift for the batting side. Well, that one will wake him up a bit. Well, he hardly seemed to hit it, and it's six. He picked that up beautifully. Players are leaving the pitch. Covers are being brought out and uh, it's raining quite hard. This is exactly the scene that every cricketer dreads. The rain beginning to pour down. I think this could be a longer delay than we had first expected. Frustration all around. Good morning and welcome to the start of another day's play. The players have made it to the middle now and up in his seat in the commentary box is Richie Ben. What a super stroke. Do you know, I didn't think that was a bad ball either. Mitchell continues. Miles, he's in it, Miles! Never mind the fielder, the bloke in row 10's got the best chance of catching that. his half century. He's batted well today, good concentration and excellent technique. Fielding team. They're appealing a lot. I don't know what you think, but I reckon the more they appeal, the less likely the umpire is to give it out. This partnership is really frustrating the bowlers. Oh, 
Effortless, brilliant, and maximum. Rose waiting at the striker's end. There it goes. Marvellous effort there. Good catch from Mitchell. They were looking for that early wicket and they're not disappointed. This was how the innings ended for Rose. Story is the next man in. Story absolutely smashed that for six. Oh, and the bottom can't believe it. That's out of the ground. Maximum. through bat and pad and done it easily. The next batsman is Butler. I think he was easily back in the crease there. Six runs. Oh, what a catch. Have yourself a complimentary beverage, son. That was well held. It was in the air a long time. He's picked the fielder out perfectly. This was the end of the innings for Baines. Here's the new batsman. There's uh, just one there. Seem to hit that, yet it sailed over the ropes. Four wides to England. Four wides? No, that's terrible bowling. I, I mean, I think he's got to come off. Great strike. Great strike, six from the moment he hit it. He 
has smashed that a long, long way. That is great to watch for the neutral, not so good for the bowler. But the bowler won't be happy about that. It's been a rather expensive over so far. Oh, it's a monster. That nearly joined us up here in the Combra box. Don't even bother chasing that. That's away to the bleachers. Side for any bowler. The ball is just sailing over the fence. Story waiting at the striker's end. Well, he hardly seemed to hit it, and it's six. You can't set fields for a shot like that. Brilliant. Story, pace it. What a super stroke. Do you know, I didn't think that was a bad ball either. Never mind the fielder, the bloke in row 10's got the best chance of catching that. brings up his half century. Ah, uh, he's played a gem of an innings. The key is to retain concentration and move on. I do think he's got to bowl a tighter line at this stage of the game. player. There's risk in that stroke, but it is maximum. There's his half century. He deserves the applaud from the crowd today. He's batted really, really well. Strikers end. 